If we think about the past of television, we started with the broadcast age, where users were willing to put up with relatively low quality and lots and lots of ads in order to enable something that was miraculous technology. What we saw over the course of the next few decades was a rise in pay television, where people were willing to pay a premium in order to achieve higher quality, and in some cases to remove ads, even though it was still primarily an ad-supported model. And so what I see for the future of television is this model where I can consume whatever I want in the highest quality possible, however I want to consume it. And that means that we have to have a very strong advertising model behind it in order to fuel the future development of this content as well as all of the technology that's part of the stack that delivers that experience. Right now, there's a lot of uh, friction in the marketplace and a customer you know, may have 10 different vendors really in that just to get um, content from a traditional broadcast environment to the actual consumer online. So the challenge right now is they're having to manage this, this workflow and this supply chain with so many different uh, competing companies with the, their own agenda that actually streamlining it and what I think we can do in the future of TV together um, actually makes that you know, just so much easier for them. You're gonna see more formats custom made for the different mediums. You're gonna see tailor-made advertisements for phones, for tablets, for set-top boxes, for your game consoles and smart TVs. So I think that um, if you look at the transformation between broadcast television and online video, 2014 is gonna be a very important year because you're starting to see percentages that mean something financially to the advertisers and the publishers. In 2014, uh, probably the biggest thing, uh, the biggest notable thing that we'll see in online video advertising is just the dramatic growth in and of itself. I mean, there'll be a lot of things that happen, but the fact of the matter is there is a massive television advertising industry around the world that exists today, and there is increasing consumption of that primetime content, if you will. It's the, it's the move of primetime content to anytime content. So that means on any device, anytime, anywhere you want it, on, uh, you know, under any business model. And advertising will likely be the predominant form of monetization.